Ken Whiting with Paddle TV and in this video we're going to talk about one of the most common questions that I get asked and that's what's the right size paddle? It's an important question to get right because a wrong sized paddle is going to be awkward. It's just not going to feel right but you're also going to lose paddling efficiency and so it's important that you get the length of the paddle right and the size of the blades. When it comes to paddle blade size, there's really two types of paddles that you have. You have these longer, skinnier type blades or these shorter, fatter type blades. Now the long and skinny blades are typically designed for smaller paddlers, people who want a more casual paddling style, or they might be paddling for a long day. And the reason for that is it just doesn't catch nearly as much water when you take a stroke and that means there's less force exerted on your body. The shorter, fatter blades actually catch more water and so it's a more powerful blade. You get a lot more power from each stroke but it also, it does put a little bit more strain on the body. So these are designed for people, more aggressive paddlers, larger paddlers and people who just need something that's going to move the boat as fast as possible through the water. So now let's talk about paddle length. Now when it comes to paddle length, kayak paddles range from 200 centimeters to 250 centimeters in length. And it doesn't matter if you're on a metric system or not, paddles are measured in centimeters. Now that doesn't include whitewater paddles. That's a different topic altogether and we're not gonna get into that here. If you choose a paddle, that is too short. The problem with that is that you're gonna to have to reach across your kayak for every stroke that you take, and that's very inefficient. If you choose a paddle that's too long, well, there's a few problems with that. For one, you lose paddle dexterity because you're just dealing with way more paddle than you need. The second thing that happens is that it causes more strain on the body because you're catching water so much further out. And the third thing that happens is because your strokes are further out from the kayak, your kayak, it, well, it has a turning effect. Every stroke you take has a turning effect on your kayak. So when you're, try to, when you're trying to paddle forward, you're gonna be zigzagging a little bit. So how do you choose the right paddle length? Well, there's three key factors to consider. For one, your height. Number two, the width of your kayak. And number three, your sitting position in the kayak. There is a fourth factor, which is actually your arm length, and it does play a role, but you know, it's not nearly as big as those three. Now the impact of those three factors are pretty straightforward. The taller you are, the longer the paddle you're gonna use. The wider your kayak is, the longer the paddle you're gonna use. And the higher you're sitting in the kayak, the longer the paddle you're gonna use. So with that being said, I'm gonna go into some more specifics and general rules that'll help you choose the right paddle length. But before I do, I need to send a quick shout out and thanks to this video's sponsor, which is fittingly Aquabound. They're an appropriate sponsor for this video, for one, because they make paddles, but also I've been using and loving their paddles for over 25 years. And it, it's of particular relevance right now because Aquabound just revamped their best-selling Ray series of paddles and one of the big changes is their new VersaLock telescoping ferrule which lets you change the length of the paddle by 15 centimeters. Now if you didn't know the ferrule is the connection point of a two-piece paddle and most paddles come as two-piece designs just so you can break it down and it's much easier to transport that way. You want a ferrule that provides a rock solid connection, it isn't gonna budge, but on top of that, you want one that provides different feathering capabilities. The benefit of the VersaLock is that you can also, it telescopes, so you get, you can adjust the paddle's length by 15 centimeters. Now, why is that important or who is that good for? Well, for one, that's good for people who don't know what size of paddle they really, or what length of paddle they really want. It gives you room to play around. 
It's also great for people who paddle different types of kayaks, so it can adapt to the style of kayak that you're paddling. And the third person it's really great for is people who share their paddles with other people, family members, different sized people. And it, once again, it gives that opportunity to adjust the paddle to meet the person and the kayak style. For more information about Aquabound's new race series and the new Versa Lock Barrel, you can check out aquabound.com. Now, let's talk about more specifics for choosing the right paddle length. And we're gonna start with recreational kayaks, which are designed to be the most stable kayaks. Now, recreational kayaks are typically 28 to 35 inches wide. They come in all sorts of different shapes and styles. I mean, you've got sit on top kayaks, sit inside kayaks, inflatable, folding. But for all of these styles of, of recreational kayaks at that width, you're typically going to use a paddle 230 to 250 centimeters in length. And it really depends on how tall you are, how wide the kayak is, and what your sitting position is. The taller you are, the wider the kayak is, and the higher you're sitting, the uh, longer the paddle you're gonna use. For example, I'm six foot two, and when I use the Liquid Logic Saluda Recreational Kayak, which is about 29 inches wide and has a fairly low sitting position, I used a paddle that was 230 centimeters long. But a much shorter paddler would probably go for a 220 centimeter paddle. Now, when I was using a kayak like the Bonafide RS117, which is 33 and a half inches wide and has a very high sitting position, I used a 250 centimeter paddle, while a shorter person might prefer a 240 centimeter paddle. Now for touring kayaks, which are typically between 23 inches and 28 inches wide, you'll generally use a paddle 210 centimeters to 230 centimeters in length. Of course, the taller you are, the wider the kayak is, and the higher you're sitting, the longer the paddle you'll go with. As an example, when I was testing the Swell Scupper 14 this summer, it's a 25 and a half inch wide sit on top kayak. I was happy using a 220 centimeter paddle because the sitting position was nice and low, even though it was a sit on top kayak. Now, lastly, for performance sea kayaks or touring kayaks that are generally between 21 inches and 24 inches wide, you're gonna want a paddle between 200 centimeters and 220 centimeters. Depends on how tall you are, how wide the kayak is, and how high you're sitting. As an example, I was using the PH Leo this summer, which is a 23 inch wide sea kayak, and I used a 220 centimeter paddle. I would have been happy with a 215 centimeter paddle. If you're shorter than I am, you probably want something more like a 210 centimeter paddle. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you choose the right paddle, maybe even your dream paddle. <laughs> but uh, something that I'll, I'll leave you with is that it's not a perfect science. And really, it's just gonna take time on the water for you to determine what's the right paddle for you, for your type of paddling, and for the type of kayak that you have. And for that reason, if you're fairly new to kayaking, I would highly recommend a couple of things. For one, you could consider the telescoping ferrule because that gives you room to change things up. The second thing to do is to start with a bit more of a budget-oriented paddle. I wouldn't say go with a super cheap paddle if you can, you know, unless you need to, but don't go to the highest end paddle until you've spent the time on the water to figure out what kind of paddle is perfect for you. At that point, you can upgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. We got lots more tips, tricks, and paddling adventures coming your way. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. And we'll see you again soon.